So let me walk you through precision cast here on the timing of these storms and what we're expecting. Now, right now, the storms are still out to our west, up towards Shreveport through the rest of this afternoon, northern Louisiana as we go into this evening. Maybe one or two showers popping up here, but not expecting much to happen through the evening hours. Even overnight, we're still probably going to be mostly dry. There will likely be a few storms popping up here and there, but notice where most of the rain is overnight to our north up around Jackson and into central Mississippi. As we get into the morning hours, still a few storms, but the main line is still to our west. So notice some of us not seeing any rain in the morning. Others Maybe a shower or storm here and there. Now, as we get into the afternoon hours, that's when we will start to see a better chance for storms. And then through the afternoon, we're talking maybe three, four, five o'clock. The worst of it still hasn't really gotten to New Orleans yet. So we're keeping an eye on the early afternoon, but it looks like the more widespread storms will be moving in maybe towards your evening commute. Eight o'clock, a lot of it's moving on out. Still very intense though, and then that's when the cold air gets here. So there is a severe weather risk with this, a bit higher than we normally see this uh, with our severe weather events down here on the Gulf Coast. We're sitting at a level three here for severe weather, and this just tells you the probability. How likely are you to see a severe storm? One being not likely at all, and five being extremely likely. We're in the middle here, so there's a good bet we see a few strong storms across the area tomorrow. It's impossible to tell you whether that'll be in St. Tammany over the lake or here in the city or elsewhere. Can't do that, but everyone does have that potential to see the severe weather. Main things, damaging winds and a few strong tornadoes. This hatched area you see here, which you don't always see on these graphics, just denotes that there is going to be enough spin in the atmosphere that we could see some uh, strong tornadoes across the region, especially in the afternoon hours. The best ingredients for severe weather are going to be as that main line moves across the region. Now the other thing we watch and we watch just any time it rains is that flooding potential. Now the rain tonight it likely is going to have a kind of a tail on it that leads to this training effect. I think that's going to stay just to our north. So from areas from Macomb to Jackson and the models doing a good job here showing that that's where the highest flooding potential is going to be. But we could see some totals that top maybe three or four inches and that can lead to some flooding. So we'll be watching that once again as the rain moves out tomorrow evening. The cold front moves in with a chilly weather and then we are in the 50 as we wrap up the work week and head into the weekend and it looks like we may have a shower or two this weekend and some showers into early next week with another storm system. So we're going to be an active pattern here with cool air coming in multiple times. So overall, as we get into this cool pattern, it looks like it's going to hold for maybe a couple of weeks and looking towards Christmas looks like maybe some of that Siberian air I was talking about yesterday gets down into the northern US and maybe sends a shot of some very cold air our direction. It's still too early to say for sure, but all indications show some cold air headed to the US uh, over the next week or so. We'll have a better idea on the timing and just how intense the cold air will be. But if you're wanting a cold Christmas, I do like the signs. Seven day forecast We're warm and muggy today. Watching that severe weather threat through tomorrow. Much of the day we will need to stay weather aware and then we're chilly and sunny by Thursday.